Hello traders, in this video we are going to start with an informative video about our previous strategies. We are going to try to combine them. Actually, I'll show you how to combine them. I know how to combine them. I will show you how you can combine them and how you can make good trades. In this video, I will be teaching you three things, actually, the main the topic of this video is SMT Divergence Trading Strategy. I'm going to teach you SMT Divergence Trading Strategy. But I'm going to also teach you how you can use different things like ploy and other factors to increase the win rate. Now, I have explained SMT divergence on my channel previously. You can watch that video. Or I can give you a small summary. For what is SMT divergence? You look at two or three correlating pairs. For example, EURUSD, GBPUSD, EURUSD, and Dollar Index, or NAS100 and S&P500. So let's take EURUSD and GBPUSD as an example. So let's say that EURUSD made a higher high, higher low, and higher high. So EURUSD made a higher high, higher low, higher high, while the GBPUSD made a higher high, higher low, and it failed to make another higher high. So now what does this show us? So right here for me, this is liquidity sweep. And this right here is a shift in order flow. Now, what is a shift in order flow? So let's say if we are looking for short positions, we look for a liquidity sweep on one pair and we look for order flow shift on the other pair. So what is order flow shift? It's when price fails to make a higher high on that pair. So on your USD, we have a higher high. But on the GBPUSD, we failed to create another higher high, which means that the momentum has now shifted to the downside. So this right here, the pair that made a higher high was actually a liquidity sweep. So what we do now, we wait for market structure shift. And we take our entry from for a value gap and kaboom. It's really that simple. But if you got the gist of it from just this explanation, then you should be good. Alright. Now, what you can do is I've also taught you guys the ABC trading strategy on this channel. So when you combine ABC with SFT divergence, it's going to just make your win rate go higher, like way higher. I'm not saying that too much, but it's going to be incredible. So in ABC strategy, we look for A, B, C. And then we wait for market structure shift, and then we take our entry. If you want to learn more about ABC strategy, I have a lot of videos on my channel. You can watch them. But for now, I'm just going to tell you how you can combine them and use them together. Alright? I'm not specifically telling you to use ABC, but I am telling you that you can use this technique to even increase the wind rate. The SMT divergence strategy can work by itself. It doesn't need any more combinations. But if you try to add confluences like ABC patterns or my entry patterns that I'm going to teach later on in this video, you can increase the wind rate significantly. And in ABC's trading strategy, what I teach is you have a higher high, higher low, higher high or lower low, lower high, lower low. And after that, we have a range. So this high is actually a range. So we look for market structure shift below the range, not above the range. So there will be a structure here. You don't want to look for market structure shift here. Well, you can when you are combining this with SMT because the scenario is different. But if you are patient enough and you wait for market structure shift here, trust me, guys, that would be an A-plus setup and you are not going to lose. I mean, that's a bit stressed, but all I'm saying is that your win rate is going to go crazy. Okay, so let's assume that you have so you're looking at two pairs, EURUSD and DXY, right? So the EURUSD makes a higher high, an ABC formation, and on DXY, you're going to have something like this. But I teach my students that you can flip the DXY chart so you don't get confused. So once you flip it, it's going to look just like any other pair. So it's going to look like this. So when you have your Euro USD making a higher high and the dollar index fails to create a higher high, and you also have an ABC formation or your USD, what you can do now is you can wait for market structure shift and you take your entry and boom, you can target this level or level down here. Okay. So it's really that simple. Now, here's when things get more serious. How about you use the POI as well? 
So now what you have is an SMT divergence. So you have this, I don't know, old poi. It could be a one hour order block. So let's call it one hour, OB with fair value gap. So now what happens is when you have an ABC formation, the C leg goes into the one hour order block and you also have SMT divergence. So on your USD, price goes into the one hour or auto block and fair value gap. And the price fails to create a higher high on the DXY, thus creating a smart money divergence. And then you look for market structure shift following the ABC rules. And you take your entry. Also, considering the kill zone timings. Trust me, guys, this is something that you can use for the rest of the year. And you're going to be insanely profitable. I am giving you information that no one does. Now you can use SMT Divergence standalone. You don't need to combine these. But if you do, you know what I'm trying to say, right? You your setup gets even more better. You will have confidence, even more confidence in your setup because you're using three confluences. So using SMT Diversions, you're using POI. This thing is going to just blow your mind. So I'm repeating once again, if you haven't watched my previous videos about ABC strategy or SMT divergent strategy, you can watch them and learn what I'm teaching right now. So finally, I'd say we are using things and this is going to increase your win rate. So I'll try to give you guys some examples and then it's going to be clear to you. All right, guys. So in this specific example, I'm going to teach you how you can use POI with SMT divergence. We will not be combining ABC in this example. So I'm looking at Euro USD on a 5 minute, and I'm also looking at Dollar Index on a 5 minute. So how do you flip a chart? So when you open a DXY chart, it's going to look something like this. What you can do is on your keyboard, press Alt plus I, and it's going to flip the chart. So you will not get confused. Okay? It's really that simple. So over here, what do you see? We have this on DXY. We have a low here as well. Now see what happens here. This right here on your SD, we have a sweep of this low. But on DXY, we have a low here this specific low. You can see right here, price doesn't sweep that low on DXY. Now, it shows that momentum is now shifting to the upside for this chart. And this right here was a liquidity sweep. Now, when you're looking at higher time frame, like daily or for hour, what I would say is you trade the pair that didn't sweep the low or high. Okay, on higher time frame, it's a different thing. But right now, I'm teaching you scalping and day trading, okay? So just when you are on a daily time frame, just don't trade the pair that sweeps the liquidity because ICT says the same thing. But according to my backtesting on a small time frames, like 1 hour or 2 hour or 30 minutes or 15 minutes and 5 minutes, the that sweeps the liquidity should be the one that you should be trading. You have a liquidity sweep here, and you wait for market structure shift. Now you can go on a smaller time frame and look for market structure shift as well, but it's really up to you. When you go on a smaller time frame and look for market structure shift on a smaller time frame, there will be a chance that that trade is not going to play out. Why? Because obviously, market structure shift on a high time is obviously going to be more powerful. So a market structure shift on a one minute time frame is always going to be more powerful. Less powerful than the market structure shift on a high time frame, like 5 minute or 15 minute. So we have a market share shift on a 5 minute, and we simply have this order block. And we have fair value gap. And we also have a BPR. Now, balanced price range is something that I'm going to teach in my upcoming We Have Three Confluxes here as well. Now, let's see how this trade plays out. We keep on playing. We have a tab. We mitigated the order block. What I can do now is go along here, put my stop right below this level. My first and my target would be this, 4.67. And I can look to target maybe this level here as well. So this would be 
Let's see how this plays out. Perfect. And you can also see that we were in a kill zone. So when you combine these things together, your win rate is going to go significantly higher. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's really all about combining different things together, like different confluences, like ABC or POI, everything. Make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you have any other questions about this video, make sure you comment down below, and more, but it's not necessary. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.